Hello. I realize that I am starting this a little early today, but I have a memory care group in Boulder to do, and I want to make sure that I have enough time to deal with that traffic. So, that said, here is this week's live. Um, last week, I was asked who comes who seeks out music therapy services. So I thought that today I'd talk a little bit about that. So because music therapy is so versatile and uniquely impactful um, as a healthcare profession, a wide variety of people may seek out music therapy services or have access to them. Uh, for example, um, there are music therapists who work in NICUs, working with premature infants and their families, and um, helping these, these families at a really critical time in the infant's life. There are music therapists who work on the other end of that spectrum, specializing in working with older adults who may have dementia, they may have Parkinson's, they may be at end of life, um, they may be healthy older adults and they're just looking to stay vital and engaged and, and have fun, do something good for their health. Um, and yet there are also music therapists who work in schools, working with students who have special needs and they're using music in ways to help these students meet their goals that are there on their IEPs. But the people who seek out my services as a music therapist um, are, a little, are a little different because the focus of my business is on mental health. And so um, as such, uh, I'm working with people who are struggling with mental health issues. And the people who tend to come to me are, um, well, they, tend to have a different worldview, a different perspective on life. And that can be either because they have a delightfully quirky and eccentric personality, which I can certainly relate to, or because maybe there's just something neurologically different about them. They may have, they may be on the autism um, spectrum, they may have ADHD, they may have PTSD, in the case of some of the kids and teens I work with, they may have experienced some really um, challenging, adverse um, childhood experiences. Other clients may have traumatic brain injury or dementia or some other chronic illness. But what connects them all, the unifying theme for all of these people, is that they're struggling in some way with their mental health. They may be experiencing depression or anxiety. They may be looking for ways to be able to grow from the traumatic experiences that they've, that they've had in their lives. Or they may be grieving. They may be grieving the loss of someone close to them they may be grieving the loss of something close to them. They may have experienced some sort of significant life transition and they're looking for something a little different to help them through that experience. They may or may not have gone through traditional counseling. Um, for some of the people I work with, traditional counseling wouldn't necessarily be the most appropriate, uh, given that uh, with children, particularly, or teenagers, sometimes it can be difficult to find the words to express what it is that you're feeling or uh, to, to capture your experience. And so music serves as that means for expression that means for communication, that means of helping that person tap into their reality. Uh, 
as well with the, the individuals I work with who have dementia or Alzheimer's. A traditional talk therapy session isn't going to really work uh, because their memory may not be accurate and their sense of reality may not be the same. And so music, again, serves as this, this means for communication and expression and connection can unlock memories and stories that, that need to be shared. It can unlock and tap into that person, that personality that, that may have been lost as a result of, of their dementia. So um, I'm very grateful that my professional experiences have allowed me to work with the whole life span and particularly um, in working with people who are struggling with, with mental health issues. So um, that's just a little short video today on who seeks out music therapy. If you have more specific questions, feel free to comment below, um, send me a message. Otherwise, you can find out more information about the diverse range of people served through music therapy by going to the American Music Therapy Association website, which is www.musictherapy.org. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next week for the next Facebook Live.